Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carmen Zita, and today I will be telling you three tips that help deal with insecurities that you may have. I know a lot of women that struggle with self-sabotage or battling with inner doubt or not feeling their, their best selves, and I was actually one of them. I will not feel my best. I will be low i would doubt myself i would tear myself down mentally and i just feel like that is something that you would have to fix on your own and not by anybody else um you can get help from other people but it takes your belief into believing that you're better than what you think you are so i'm going to tell you three tips that help me get over the feeling of insecurities so one tip that i would recommend is not comparing yourself to others looking at yourself and knowing that you are good enough knowing that the next girl is not you and whatever you do to change to look like that person you will still not be that person or feel like that person just because you change a look or make yourself look a certain way like her or like him it doesn't matter who you're who's watching if you try to change yourself, you're not going to feel like yourself. You're going to feel like a copycat or you're going to feel less, more or less than, than you did before you started to compare yourself to others. Because what if you don't get the same results like them? You can change your nose. You can change your hair. You can change your body to look like a certain person, but it's still not you. And what's better than being yourself? Nothing is better than being yourself. So never compare yourself to others because you don't know what they're also battling with. They can be battling with insecurities that they have on their own as well. So yeah, we're going to work on not comparing ourselves anymore. Yeah, that's out the window. You know what I'm saying? Number two, my second tip is to work out. Working out so that you can look good and feel good. Um, I've battled with my weight over the years time and time again. My weight will fluctuate up and down i would gain weight and then i would lose weight but when i lost the weight i felt so good and that's because i put in the work to do that i would go to the gym i would i would eat healthy i will drink my water every single day and when you do these things it's going to make you a lot more confident than you felt before you're going to look your best than you felt or looked before you even started to work out and started to work on yourself and it relieves stress. You will not have to worry about the same mistakes or the same feelings that you had once you start to work on yourself and give yourself that confidence. So definitely, definitely work out and get your body in shape, girl. You're beautiful. All you have to do is get on that little treadmill, drop a few little pounds, eat healthy, and you're gonna feel good and you're gonna look good. What? Double whammy. <laughs> But yes, definitely work out. My third and last tip is self-love. I cannot stress this enough. You have to have self-love. You have to work on it if you don't have it for yourself. A lot of people may ask me what is self-love because they don't know what it is. It's providing a time and an energy to develop yourself mentally and physically and cater to yourself and no one else. It's the most selfish thing that you can do for yourself because if you don't do it, then who will? You have to talk to yourself every single morning and tell yourself, after, speak affirmations over yourself. I'm confident. I'm beautiful. I'm strong. And this is what's going to boost your confidence in your, your self-doubt and your bad feelings of insecurities. Trust me, it's worked for me and I know that it will work for you. All you have to do is watch healing videos. Watch self-love videos. You're on one right now. <laughs> so this is the first step on how to develop a confident feeling within yourself and a secure feeling within yourself. If you don't allow yourself to work on yourself and cater to the things that stress you out and make you make you feel less than, then you're always gonna feel less than. So jot down some notes when you're watching um, self level up videos or confident videos or feminine videos, whatever the case is. Write it down so that you can use that, plaster it up on your wall, and work towards those goals every single day. You're going to get up every single day and speak confirmations, affirmations into yourself. Pray. Pray more than you ever did before. Whatever you believe in, look to that higher source and believe that 
you or he whoever will get you through this and it will work trust and believe me it will work and you're going to feel better than you ever did before so like i said my first tip was to not compare yourself to others my second tip was to work out and my third tip was to work on your self-love whether that is speaking self-affirmations watching self-love videos feminine videos whatever the case is to help improve yourself mentally and physically and it's going to pay off and you're not going to feel that insecure feeling anymore and you know what i'm saying boss up uh, dive into yourself buy yourself things that'll help you feel more secure within yourself like you know getting your nails did or getting your hair did or going to go to buy that shirt that you always wanted that you know will look good on you once you drop those five pounds when you work out so like I said before, I hope all these tips help you because they sure did help me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Please like and subscribe if this has helped you and share this so that it can help someone else. Thank you guys. I see you guys soon.